This is uh, what happened at my last workshop, which was on Saturday. Um, it was uh, two colour brioche knitting and it was at you and Yarn in Thirsk. And there were two ladies and they both did absolutely fantastically. Here they are in the morning learning to brioche knit and brioche pearl. And then in the afternoon they got they got advanced and they did increased stitches and decreased stitches and I think they found it quite challenging but also rewarding I hope. After that I came home and um, this week I have taken all the things I needed for the workshop back to my caravan. And now here I am. I'm here doing a little bit more knitting in my caravan. I'm going to talk about knitting anyway. I had a really lovely brioche knitting workshop at the weekend in Thirsk. And I've got another one on Saturday and that's going to be in Knaresborough. The next one I'm going to do after that, which is going to be in June, and it's going to be in Tarsia. Now, intarsia is kind of like, we think of it as picture knitting. Um, I was at my mum's last week and she was reading a magazine from 1982. And I was quite interested because I've been thinking about intarsia. There's a few picture jumpers in there. It's probably something that you would um, would use for like like a child's garment, or quite popular now for Christmas jumpers. So this is a cushion that I designed um, a few years ago for an intarsia workshop. I want to say I got carried away, but I don't know that I did get carried away. I was just loving. Um, playing about with the colours and I ended up using seven colours in this um, because I was just loving um, repeating the same motif and um, and swapping the colours around and then on the other side I just mirrored the squares but and the colours in the squares but didn't put any motif just did it in the stripes um, but I've realised that as a first intarsia project it's maybe um it's maybe a little bit involved a little bit fiddly with all the colors um so i have simplified it so i'm going to be reintroducing this workshop because it's not one that i've done very often um so i'm going to be doing that in in june and i have simplified the pattern so that it's only three colours and one of the colours you only use a tiny little bit anyway um, but I've still kept this little sausage dog motif because I think he's quite cute and people like dogs don't they um, the workshop will um, involve practicing and learning about what you need to do to work in Tarsia because it's not like feral knitting um, in fair owl knitting you are carrying the colours across the whole the whole row whereas in tarsia knitting is more like knitting blocks of colour so you won't carry the yarn across so you won't end up with thick fabric so we'll do like a little sample like this probably not this design um, just practicing knitting in tarsia we might start knitting a cushion on the day but you'll definitely go away and make yourself a cushion so what i am wearing this is a very old cardigan i knitted it a very long time ago and when i knitted it it was bigger than this um so i was about 21 years old when i knitted it and i'd not done it i don't think i'd done any intarsia before like, i don't think i even knew that it was intarsia that i was knitting so I got this, I got this kit, it was a kit, um, and I started knitting this cardigan. Um, 
you can see I didn't completely know what I was doing when I first started and I always looked at it as um when I finished it I always looked at it as um it, it was telling the story of what I'd learnt while I was knitting it now unfortunately about about 10 years later or so possibly a bit longer when I was in my early 30s anyway um the cardigan ended up in the washing machine on the wrong setting and it came out like this so it's now felted so even though this is felted um i still wear it i still keep it and i still wear it i can still because it was so massive because that was the fashion at the time um it's kind of probably just fits me now as like a little short jacket um so it's still wearable and um and i'm not getting rid of it because it tells it tells a bit of a story okay it, it tells the story of me learning the technique and i, I just i just will always keep hold of it So you can see these squares here. This is what I'm talking about. I didn't have the tension. I mean, it didn't look like this when I first knitted it because it hadn't been felted, but the, the same effect was there. So these squares at the bottom of the back, which was the first bit I did, they're all out of shape. But then when, I'd, when I got onto the rest of it, I had worked out what I was doing. So the rest of it, they're all, they're all nice um, squares. It was called tiles, I think. I think that was the name of the uh, of the design. But what I love about it is it's the intarsia blocks of colour, but it's not all stocking stitch. So here's stocking stitch, and it's meant to look like tiles. Um, but in the middle, it's got this blackberry stitch, and I just think it's such a nice touch. Um, the colours that came with it are, are lovely as well, and the and the wool it's Rowan, um, so it's hundred percent wool, and it's lovely. It's lovely yarn, and it was it was nice to knit with. Uh, so what I've been working on is I have designed the cushion, and. I've started working on some videos to go with it so what I'm working on building up to go with my workshops is video tutorials so that when you've been to the workshop you don't have to remember everything that I've told you people can come to the workshop and they can enjoy the workshop and they can get everything out of it that they get on the day but then they don't have to remember everything they can go home and they can experience that again so they can you can do it at your own pace at home and i just think it just adds to the workshop it just adds that extra um level to the workshop so that you can you're just going to get as much out of it as you can i would just like to say thank you for listening to me waffling on again and i will be back soon with more knitting chatter